Okay. This is the internet MIDI settings page. Here is the internet page where you connect with your buddies. Here's the tools page. And here's the performance page, right? Let's go back to here. This is exactly as it should be. Since you don't have a keyboard, you don't have an input device, you're using the time warp synth. Right. So now we're going over here to the internet. Go to internet MIDI, way up at the top yeah. there in the corner. You can do that. Now go down to create new time buddy account. Click on that. And now you're going to create your name and password, your, your unique password with which I'm going to find you. And your name was created. Great. So I'm going to take control again to click on that. Now go ahead and put in your time warp buddy name right there. And your password oh. below it. Yeah. And you can click remember password. Two things that are very important and they're already set that way and they should stay that way for your, for your purpose as a singer is this set initial buffer should be set to manually. And when late MIDI events occur, don't adjust buffer. Okay. Okay. That, that's important. Okay. Now see up here where it says offline. Yeah. When we stuff available. Okay. You, did you do that with tools? Did you do I did it. No, no. I, it's on this, on this page. You can tell the page you're on oh. because of the triangle. Oh, okay. Okay. So I made this, yeah, I made you available. You're going to add me to your buddy list. And I am Sabella voice. Boom. All right. Then you would simply click on me and start connection. And I get a little message that you want to connect with me. I say yes. And now we are connected. All right. So that's me playing your computer. So take your cursor. You can hit a key with your cursor. You're playing. Uh, do you hear an echo? Yeah. This slider way up here, okay? Mm -hmm. This is your MS or millisecond slider. Now Zoom has an inherent latency somewhere around 100 to 250, right? So let's start at 150 and I can do that, okay? And so I hear that almost, almost exact now because I could barely hear the, the the echo. Oh, so the echo tells you you're not there. You're not, you, you're, you got right. it. If you yeah. hear an echo, you've got to adjust the latency slider so that your key strikes are identical. Okay. Okay, so now you hit a key strike with your mouse. That's pretty identical to me. It's pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, okay, now. I, as the pianist, we've synced up. I, as the pianist now, which I'm not, but I'm going to hear, <laughs> I'm going to hear that my keyboard in my room through your speakers. Wow. And that's how I do my lessons. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's how your music director can play in his location and you'll hear it in yours. Wow. And you can sing along to it. Now, once you and I have done this, I'm on a stable connection, you're on a stable connection, probably our latency, my experience is that that doesn't change so much. Once you've figured it out between person to person, it can stay there. But every other person that you connect with, you might have to adjust for them. Okay, all right. And it'll go up or it'll go down. But really, that's it. That's how you connect. So um, you can add people to your buddy list here. And so you can work in this way. And certainly as a voice teacher, you can teach in this way. Now, if your student can buy internet MIDI for $35, then you have the ability to play with the latency. Okay. Right. Right. If they don't, right. If the student can really can't afford internet MIDI, let's close out of your internet MIDI. Can you do that for can me? I just you one quick question. Sure. Um, is the latency being adjusted on both sides or just the, the person receiving? The re person receiving. 
right. has to Four. has to adjust right. the latency. Okay. Okay. okay? So that the pianist sense. is playing and telling you, I hear an echo, I hear an echo. Okay, that's better. Okay, no, okay, uh, I don't hear an echo. That means we're right on. Okay. Okay. All right, and right. sometimes you can visually do like I'll do this, I'll do So you can see, right? Or if it is Yeah, see that's better. Yep. So yep. You see, I'm playing here. And you're hearing it there. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. it's kind this of ingenious. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now I wanted to show you one thing. Yeah. If your student doesn't have Internet MIDI at all, mm -hmm. okay? So now close out of Internet MIDI. And I, I did go. it. So now I'm going to share my screen for a second, okay? And I'm going to show you what I'm doing <laughs> with Internet MIDI. So here's my Internet MIDI, and uh -huh. I'm going to change my output to be the... Microsoft Wavetable Synth, which is my thing. And I'm going to put local MIDI through. All right, so now on Zoom, share computer sound. Boom. Now, do you hear? Do you hear that? Yes. Yes. Okay, that is my internet MIDI engaged as a digital synthesizer. And that sound being shared through Zoom with someone who does not have internet MIDI. Okay, wow. Cool. Okay, so now we can't adjust the latency here. We can't. Okay, you can't. Okay, okay. No. I was gonna ask. But, but I can use this. I hear it, so if you don't look. Right, look. right. Okay, so you can still sing along with it. And I'm playing, and you can sing along with the scale. Right. Okay, and that's fine. So this is the playback feature, okay? And uh, I mean performance feature, performance mode, okay? Now when Catalina has this, you will see all the recording and playback features here, right? Uh -huh. And the grab file and the save button. So I can play here, uh, is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> Sings has been hot, also very sweet. Okay, we'll just do that. Now we're going to stop. Now either you or I could record that, and now I can play it back and look what happens. You can hear that, right? Okay. So your music director can play the unique arrangements that he's created or she's created for you into Internet MIDI. And then you can save it on wow. your computer. Okay, you would title it and save it. Now these are all the MIDI files I have that I share with students, right? right. Um, but I save it and then you could play it back at any time. You could also drag in any pre-existing MIDI file like this, okay? Um, into so the it program. MP3. It does MP3s? Uh, no, no you know what? Those are all MIDI files. Part of their title was that .mp3, so I just didn't get rid of it. Um, okay. But it, it really, they are all MIDI files. Oh, okay. They are all MIDI files. They and have to be MIDI files in order to play through this. They have to be MIDI files. And you can buy uh, MIDI files online. And there's even a MIDI file... Um, converter, uh, MP3 to MIDI. Now, it works half-half, eh, um, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, this MP3 to MIDI. So say I have a piano track uh, that, I or that I already own. Um, I just select it here, bring it in, and it, it, then it says, you know, I click to convert, and then I download the MIDI file. Now, I've done that with some of these. And let's see, what did I do it with? Uh, hurry, it's lovely up here. Okay, yeah, this one was not as successful. So I will show you 
well, it's not as successful because it kind of jumbled. So you can hear that, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Right? So it actually, <laughs> actually, it's not as bad as I, I love thought. this song. Yeah. Okay. okay, so that's not as bad as I thought. Um, if it's a simple piano accompaniment, the MP3 to MIDI converter will do it pretty well. Again, if it's very virtuosic, some of the MIDI information might get stuck going through the gate and it, then the notes don't come in the, in the right time. So that is the basics of internet MIDI, what you can do with it as a singer uh, and a voice teacher, uh, whether or not your student has internet MIDI. I, all my students who have digital keyboards, I ask them if they wouldn't mind getting internet MIDI because then it's like I'm right there in the room with them. They are hearing it out of their keyboard. They're singing along in their room. That's great. If they don't have a keyboard and they still would like to get the internet MIDI because we can adjust the latency, that's even better. That's great. And if they can't do the internet MIDI right now, even in its reduced cost, I just share the sound of it via Zoom and we're okay. It still is a um, perceptually synchronous event for them. And right. I think that's important for them.